God, I look terrible. I need to be more presentable with these things, at least a little bit more. <laughs> channel so for today's video we are actually doing a what I eat in a day um I haven't done one of these I love these because you know sometimes I don't know what I want to eat and you know I need some inspo so I'm gonna be that inspo for you so basically what today's video is I'm just gonna be showing you guys what I eat in a day it's relatively gonna be healthy I just went grocery shopping yesterday we went to Trader Joe's it was freaking amazing and I really just want to get back into eating better, to be honest. Like, I eat better sometimes, and then Chick-fil-A comes along, and it's kind of, like, ruining everything. So, just need to get back on that. If you're new to my channel, make sure to the subscribe button down below. Also, turn on post notifications. That way, you get notified every time I post a video, because I can be your friend. We can be friends. So, just subscribe. I just need friends. I'm ready to do it. Let's just get on to this video. So, right now, um, it's 1229, and I just woke up. And it is Monday, and usually you guys know I would have classes on Monday. It's just my marketing class is canceled because she does like these things where we do stuff from home on certain days. So that's what today is all about. That's what I'm doing. And I'm not going to my beginning class because honestly, I'm not going to sit there and have a man read slides off of me. Like, we're not going to do that. We're not going to waste my time that I could be doing enjoying some yummy food also I'm also gonna be doing intermediate fasting in this so I'm my window that when I always end up doing this I've done it before is I don't eat until after 12 and I stop eating before 8 or 8 30 it's around there I give myself like an eight hour window that's just me intermediate fasting is different for everyone um, do what's best for you it's really easy but right now I'm super hungry so I think I'm gonna go make myself because I just bought yogurt yesterday so I'm gonna make my first like yogurt parfait I got bananas I got coconut granola I'm excited. I've never been able to make parfaits because all parfaits always freaking include berries and I'm allergic to berries. I get rashes. We're not gonna get a rash, so let's let's go guys. So we have the Trader Joe's French vanilla with other natural flavors and non-fat yogurt. So I got this because it has zero fat. It's 180 calories because it's the vanilla flavor. The other one was like 130, but it's a cup, so I'm just gonna get a cup of this. It's all coagulated inside. Let's do two thirds. I don't think I'm gonna really eat half of the, I mean, a full cup of this. <laughs> I just put the yogurt in. I only did two thirds, so serving size is a cup, but I don't think I'm gonna eat that much of it. So we're just gonna get the granola. I might just do, serving size for this is a cup. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll do half. I'll do half. Wow, we love portion control. This is the Trader Joe's Organic. 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 Organic toasted coconut granola. It has a crispy, crunchy combination of rolled oats, corn flakes, spotted quinoa, oh, wow. spotted quinoa almonds, and toasted coconut chips. It's gluten free, apparently. Next, I'm gonna take a banana. So here is the finished product. We got yogurt at the bottom, got granola on the side, and banana right here. That's all I just did today. I also do use the LifeSum app. This isn't sponsored, you know, wishing it is. Still wishing for my first sponsorship, just like, brands hit me. I'm like brand friendly, just saying like, I'm brand friendly. So I put all my things, it was a good rating. Everything seemed to be relatively healthy, like I said, and yeah, it was around 380 something calories. So this is probably gonna fill me up. And then I'll just chat to you guys next time. Also with this, I'm gonna drink a bunch of water. I have a 32 hydro flask and I drink that at least once. I probably drink that twice, twice so twice a day. So I get like around, I get all my eight glasses of water from that. And you know, sometimes I do drink a little bit more if I'm thirsty. So just letting you guys know, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be watching some YouTube. We're gonna chill out on this day of canceled classes. We're in our dining hall, I hate vlogging in public. Like, breakfast is like, pretty much over and I really wanted an omelet. And she's like, the station's closed. And I was like, okay. So update guys, I just took my first bite of this cause I haven't really had this before. All of these are new products. The granola, freaking amazing. The yogurt. Freaking amazing. It always has like a sour taste to it, especially if it's vanilla flavor. Like sometimes vanilla flavor is gonna be like really gross. This is so freaking good. Like it's just balancing out so well and I'm so freaking happy. Okay, so it is currently 3.49, so I'm gonna eat lunch. So I'm gonna make a salad. So I have an egg boiling on the stove. 
cut up some chicken. It's gonna be really freaking great. So watch this montage. So I just finished cooking the chicken. You guys just saw me put it in the refrigerator because I like my chicken cooked, but I want it cold. So that's what I speed up the process that way. Oh, I forgot I had the avocado in here. Oh no. I tried to ripen my avoca avocado, avocado faster. And apparently you can put it in the oven. And I totally forgot I did that. So let's open it up. Oh no. This recipe does call for an avocado, but clearly you can tell I do not have an avocado in there. So I'm gonna get some spinach. And we do lots of spinach. Fill it up. Put chicken in there, like so. Just really messily. It's so unsafe. Just cutting my hand. Next, I just add a few croutons. Put a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Dressing, I use the best dressing in the world. It's the Olive Garden red wine balsamic dressing. It's so freaking good. So I do like two capfuls of these. This is the completed look, finished product. Love that. Guys, I just finished lunch, but I'm still a little bit hungry. So I'm actually just gonna get a quick little bar for my little stashies here. Let's see, oh, it's all the way back here. So I just picked these up. These are the Raises, the bar, true granola bars with oats, millet, quinoa, amaranth, buckwheat, and dark chocolate chunks. I got these because Abby Abson, Abelson, I don't know if I'm butchering her last name, but she is a fellow vlogger here on YouTube, way more successful than me. And she says these are really good. These are 140 calories with only 40 calories from fat, which is pretty good in my opinion. So I'm just gonna get one of these. So they're so cute, they're a little square, and I like this because it doesn't look like it's that much, so I think I'm just a little bit hungry. I'm kind of have a sweet too, so. It was pretty good. So I'm just gonna eat my snack, and then I'm gonna catch up with you guys back when I finish dinner and my last meal of the day. Hey guys, it is 8.31. I was just, you know, lost track of time, and I didn't really eat until almost one-ish today, so it's still fine, so. In my little, it's like we have a little shark fin. I'm gonna cook with this cauliflower, 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 gnocchi because I saw Danielle Carolyn Brooklyn Chico. I've seen every single freaking YouTuber talk about it, and I really want to try it out. And I kind of want pasta. Put this roasted garlic marinara on top of it, and then cook down some spinach to put in as well. I'm gonna add one of these sausages in it. It is. The Trader Joe's sun dried tomato with basil and tomatoes chicken sausage. This is really good. Just want to add like a little extra something. So I'm gonna cook this. So I got the sausage sauteing. I have the gnocchi in here, just you know, steaming it up. And I don't have the cover, so I'm using a plate really quick. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna get some spinach and just saute that up really quick. So we're gonna do half a cup right here. Walk that in. I'm gonna add like the littlest bit of mozzarella cheese. About a third of cheese. This looks so freaking good. And this is dinner. It looks so freaking good. It's a lot, so I might not eat all of this, but it was under 500 calories for everything. I did add a little bit of Parmesan cheese just to top it off with like the teeniest bit. But overall, the rating is pretty good. Pr pretty still healthy if you're a pasta person like myself. So this looks great. Just gonna do a taste test for you guys. I look terrible, but 
get a little sausage and then let's get a little bit of the gnocchi. Freaking incredible. I did taste it when the gnocchi was barely cooking and I could taste the cauliflower, but right now, it doesn't even really taste like cauliflower like at all. It absorbed this flavor. I'm gonna eat this. This is so freaking good. I'm so excited. So that's the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some ideas of what you guys can cook in college to be relatively healthy. All these are so easy to make. I put the recipes down below in my description box just so in case you guys want to know what I make and exactly how I made it if I didn't go over that clearly enough in the video. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this video, make sure you give a big thumbs up, subscribe. Also comment down below any ideas you guys have for future videos. And until next time, bye.